I'm often surprised to find something in my footage I missed at the time of recording. Here's an example. Did you see it? That was a very small shark. They are back, but so are some of the larger ones, like this one, full of scars, likely from a seal or sea lion encounter, or even another white shark. Regardless, it's an indicator that they are growing up. And watching these young sharks interact is sometimes a roller coaster. Beginning with this clip, notice the white object in the frame. I did not think much of it when I saw it, so I instead focused on the shark. But things don't always go as planned. In this case, I had a drone disconnection error. I was flying blind. As you can see here, the drone goes into a hover as the shark leaves the frame. And while I can't see my live feed, I always fly up just to give my drone time to recover. It is at this moment that I re-establish connection, and what my camera sees was my first surprise of this day. The white object I saw earlier is now in my frame, but this time a white shark has taken interest in it. It's an interaction I did not expect, one so trivial but so revealing. In my excitement, it was through the roof. Here's audio and footage from my R5 capturing the moment from the shore. My excitement is evident. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. This shark is solely focused on this ocean debris. Watch closely and you can clearly see the shark roll its eyes back as it looks to take a bite. It's a trademark shark behavior. And from shore, my camera captures the action. He's doing it, oh my God. And as you can see, the shark was clearly visible from shore. And so I wondered, what is this shark doing? Once again, you can see its eyes roll back. This action is actually a protection mechanism white sharks use during a predation attack. Some sharks have a clear membrane that covers and protects the eye. However, white sharks do not have this membrane and therefore they push their pupils back in their heads for protection when they feed. As I film this, I get yet another drone disconnection. This is the moment it happens. I lift the drone again to reestablish my position. When my connection returns, I'm once again in awe. Another shark has come into frame. This one is clearly larger, and this one takes no interest in the debris. It literally pushes the other shark out of the area. It's an older, more experienced shark. And so I get close to the larger shark for an ID. As you will see later, it won't be the last time I'd see this shark today. I photographed the smaller shark as well, but have to land to change batteries at this point. And when I return, this is what I see. There's now three sharks in the area. And they begin to interact with each other. These interactions never cease to amaze. The dominant shark is clearly undeterred. And when I raise the drone again, I notice another piece of debris floating by. When I get closer, the large shark just goes by it. It's here that I notice this is a different object. It's actually a cardboard Pepsi carton floating there. And this bigger shark doesn't seem to care about it. Still, the large shark seems to guard it from another shark in the area. Eventually, it yields a path for the younger, smaller shark, who is clearly interested. As the big shark leaves, this young one begins a 15-minute dance around this carton. 
What strikes me as most interesting in this encounter is how the larger shark really had no interest in the object. Yet this smaller one, as you can see, can't help but check it out. It brings out so much curiosity in my own mind. What am I witnessing? But the answer is rather simple. I'm watching a youngster learning about the world around it. That this may very well be the first time this shark has seen such a thing. And like any other young animal would do, it's curious. There's something so satisfying about it. We are so used to seeing these animals in an aggressive manner that a simple, almost trivial encounter like this is really nothing short of beautiful. And so the dance continued into the shallow water. This behavior struck me as so inquisitive. It very well may be learning to hunt the surface. But while this Pepsi carton and the debris I filmed earlier provided me with an opportunity to watch these sharks react, I'm reminded about how unfortunate the human footprint can be for our oceans. I'm also reminded that no matter how beautiful these sharks are, they are still an apex predator. Like any other animal on our planet, they deserve respect. That even though I love sharks, I have to acknowledge that filming them does create anxiety for me on occasion. That even though it's highly unlikely one decides to make an aggressive move on a human, it's still sometimes a roller coaster. And the following clip exemplifies that. This is the same larger shark I filmed earlier, the one that didn't care about the debris. The water has become cloudy, and so I overexposed a bit to see the shark. What happened next left me breathless. I'm turning towards the surface. Yes, yes, yes. He's right next to the surfer. This surfer needs to look down. He's got a shark right next to him. You got a shark right next to you, dude. He's bigger than your board. Oh my God, oh my God, don't bite him, don't bite him, don't bite him. Wow. This kid needs to... So that shark took off so that's normal but still man they've been very frisky lately
For more information on how to swim safely in Southern California waters, please read the informative links I've included in the video description. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. I've also included some links to organizations where you can get involved in helping to protect our sea life.